guys. It is so hard to try and be yourself and like remind yourself, talk normal or be normal, don't be a little weirdo. Or don't have your, um, don't say um. <laughs> don't have your voice too high pitched and squeaky or talk louder or, you know, look into the camera, all this stuff. Gosh, and I have to remember all of it. <sighs> Anyways, hi you guys, my name is Marissa. I also go by M. Galvin Coda and all my social media, that's on Instagram, Snapchat, I have Twitter, and obviously YouTube. So I came home straight away, you guys, so I could come and film this video because um, we were talking about this topic today and I just remembered it, so I'm like, I have to go home and take this video. Like, how can I forget? We were talking about the different celebrities that have stayed at the hotel that I work at. So I work at a fancy ass hotel in this neighboring beach town. So this hotel, like I said, fancy, 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 number one in the whole area. Um, and it's very romantic, like people go there like on their honeymoons and their anniversaries and romantic getaways and a lot of people go um, with their significant other uh, to enjoy each other, duh. So, um, and my, where I, the beach that I, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the beach where I work at is super prime time, dude, like for real. It um, is always warm, never foggy like some beach towns get, and even in the winter time, like it's not that cold. And you guys, it's just beautiful, it's quaint, it's cute, not very well known, it's not very touristy yet. So I'm not gonna say the name. <laughs> Just kidding, not enough people watch these videos yet. Anyways, so where was I going to? Oh, so sometimes we get celebrities staying in these hotels. And we were talking about it today at work, and um, I remember this one celebrity. Oh, I think he's so cute. To be 100% honest, he was on my um, list of like top three list of celebrities like I had a crush on for the longest time like ugh, are you ready drum roll <laughs> Jason Siegel yes Jason Siegel I thought he was so funny and so cute and so tall and so goofy and he looked like he'd be a really good hugger and cuddler so and very sweet he looks like he'd be really sweet and like I said funny um, so he stayed at my hotel and get this you guys get it get this he checked in on my Friday like on my Friday for me about to go home and spend two days at home and not go back to work and mind you I work a half hour away so I didn't even know he was coming in because he reserved under a different last name, of course, or a different name, whatever. And they text me, they're like, oh my god, where is it? Jason Siegel's there. Da -da 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 -da. And really, for real, I contemplated really hard on showing up to work the next day and pretending to um, work, like pretend that I had work that day. Like I'm like, oh I don't have oh I don't have work that day. What? I live a half hour away, so can I work today? Can can I can I work today? You know, where's Jason at? Where's Jason at? And I'm just joking, but in the end, I decided not to do that because I felt like it wasn't very professional or ethical. Like we are known for being number one for a reason. Like why stake my reputation and their reputation for that? Like it's just smarter not to do that. I would look like a crazy weirdo fan. Like I no thank you, but. He loved it and I heard he was really nice and he loved the pie because we serve pie at my work and he just like he wasn't being a pill like making a big deal about who he was or he wasn't being like I need to have this room and it needs to be this and it needs to be that and I'm like he was totally chill and he ended up writing a little segment in the journal 
um, in the journals that we have in the room because our guests write little little snippets of their stay and he wrote in it he seriously he signed his name like for real so I think that's super cool but my 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 biggest disappointment is I really think that me and him we could have had a connection you know it it could have been a real life for getting Sarah Marshall. It, it could have, you know. Um, <clears throat> I was the cute desk behind the, behind the. I was the cute desk. I was the cute girl behind the desk, just like Mila Kunis was. And you know, he was there at a beautiful beach in the movie. I work at a beautiful beach. I could have took him to a local hangout spot, you know. We could have had some laughs. I would have showed him the hiking trail that's super popular around here. All I'm saying is that that life could have been mine. I could have made it. Forget that his girlfriend was there. For, forget that she was there. Forget that we didn't even technically meet. We would have just made a banging couple. That is the time that I almost fell in love with Jason Siegel, you guys. My opportunity passed. And you know what? This is what karma does to me because I think it was that year that I decided to finally take him off because I was like, you know what? He's been on here for this many years. You know, make, make some room for some new people. So I take him off and then that's what happens. <sighs> so, anyways, I really hope you guys like this video. Comment down below, maybe give me some run-ins of celebrities you've had, or what you think about this video, or hit us just up with a subscribe. Mm, I love it, mm, I love it, give me some more of it. <laughs> All right, see you later. I just finished.